Hello everyone and welcome to Diamond Art with Dell. Today I have a bit of a update video if you wish to say. This is my big puzzle mat I unboxed on the channel. Uh, I think it would have been could have been like March or something. It was like a long, long, long time ago. So I put a few diamond paintings in then and I reopened it probably a couple of months later, added some more. But it's come to a stage now where I want to reopen it. So at least, I'll probably put the last one in maybe in June or somewhere. That's sort of like spitballing some months and time. Uh, so you can get sort of an idea how long this thing's been sitting and rolling up, basically. I believe something I started last year was the big Diamond Dot Snowman is in here. It's in here, but what I wanted to do today was basically just show you what condition your canvases are in after being in the the puzzle mat. Uh, I suppose, what would you call it? Storage system. There we go. So this, the, the puzzle mat storage system. Oh. And I wanted just to show you what they look like after sitting rolled up and hanging on the back of a door, basically, for, uh, yeah, since pretty much March. So... <laughs> Uh, that's basically where I am with this one. So that's what this little video is today, just to sort of show you how the puzzle mat that I unboxed is holding up. So there we go. So as you can sort of see, it's quite fat. I've put quite a few in here. Some have been started. So I've got some pieces in here that I've actually got drills on to see how they store. Um, and I've also just got canvases that I haven't started because they're too big to put anywhere else. I mean, you can hang them up and on coat hangers like I've got all from my wardrobe, etc. But this is so much easier to put a lot of diamond paintings in one spot. So anyway, now they have on these beautiful, these puzzle mats, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I believe I got this one from eBay because I found they were cheaper there. You can get them on Amazon and quite other a lot of places and they are very they're quite big like they hold really big diamond paintings and they have like this beautiful uh velvety bag that stores in keeps all your things clean right and then of course in the middle of the core is like a blow up like little tube to hold the shape and this is quite fat and dense and so forth and these i can't tell if i'm showing this correctly yet but i will on editing uh, these are the little ties and that just to tie up the end and that's all I've been using just to hang it off the back of the door basically in the craft room and that's where it's been sitting out of the way so there you go so in there you can see your blow up tube and after all this time it still has air so that's holding up all right now I'm not sure how I'm going to get all these out of here because I said it's pretty well packed and stacked in I can tell you let me ah, get entangled up in this shirt. I'm gonna... <laughs> there we go. I'm trying to show my fat belly. Okay, so <laughs> down with a layer. Hopefully you can't see my clothes. Anyway, um, spare the moment idea this bit basically. So this is it. I'm trying to just sort of wriggle it out. As you can see, um, it's quite thick. The, I said the air tube is holding out all right. Rightio, now how am I going to peel this off here? I think I can just shoot it out, honestly. Yep, cool. Oh, that's heavy. Bang. Okay, so that's the velvety bag off. It'll be fun putting that back together. So it's held together one, two, three um, ties, if you will. These are like little Velcro. Um, they top like they fit together with Velcro, and you just hopefully ah. They're well, they're definitely firm on there. You can just. Slip them open as such. And they can just then slide off and you don't have to pull them right out so you can keep your shape to put them back on again. 
One, two, and three. Oh, I'll just pop those three aside. Okie dokie. Now I'm not sure which way to roll this thing. So I don't know which way is up. But as you, as you can see, I've got quite a few in here. And this will take up a lot of my table, so hopefully I can do this well. All right, so rolling it out. Wow, okay, cool. So as expected, they have got some curl to them. But that's holding its own. It's still a little bit flatter than what it used to be, but it's still, still um, inflated enough to help store and hold things. Nice and curly. I'll just shoot up this end a bit so you can see. That's what the other end is looking like. So a little bit of a wave to them, but all in all, I think. Now this one is FG normal. This is awesome. Look how nice and flat and ready to work on that is. <gasps> wow. So it's a real mixed bag of stuff in here. Stuff I've even forgotten I own. <laughs> this is beautiful. I'll show you that one the right way around for you guys. There you go. That is ready to go. You can start working on that, no worries. It's got no creases, it's nice and flat. This is a really nice um, way of storing your diamond paintings and so they can be ready to work on. So when you are ready, they're ready, basically. Wow, okay, that's awesome. I love that how good that's looking. This is my problem though, as I start seeing things and again, and I go, yep, I need to pop that at the top of the list. Okay, so what have I got here? Now this one I partially started working up and then abandoned for whatever reason again. Um, so it's a diamond art club. It's full drill and it's a square and I started doing the background of this and um, it's got, of course, they've got the beautiful canvases and stuff with Diamond Art Club. But it's, uh, the canvas itself obviously is going to hold all right, but more importantly, my drills seem to be perfectly fine. Again, ready to work on now that I'm ready to start, you know, continue the project, which is the purpose of uh, storing these things this way. Okay, so I've got this beautiful, this one from Your Best Deals, and here's a beautiful wing. Must do that too. That's a square drill as well, but again, looking really good after being in storage. Here she is. This is the one I was trying to find. It is a diamond dots that I started. Got too close to end of the year, so I popped it away for a while. As you can see, the canvas, or hopefully you can see, the canvas is perfect, ready to go back to work. Um, I said I've drilled up this section here. The drills are really, like there's no loose things there. They're feeling nice and um, firm and flat. I've got quite a bit of work to do on this, so that's why I wanted to bring it out sooner than later and keep going with it so there you go um, so yeah this is a diamond dots it's called father snow design size is 50 by 62 so these are big paintings you can store this way nice way of uh, storing some big paintings and you can see these have been sitting there since I bought this one has been sitting in there since I bought the the mat and rolled it up so there you go, ready to work on. Perfect. So I'll leave that one out of my storage, obviously, because that's the one I was looking for. But as I said, all of these are in, oh gosh, I want to do this one. I've been thinking about this all the time. 
This was go this is absolutely gorgeous. This is another one for this time of year. This is from Treasure Studio Arts. And this is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love the rough collies. They're beautiful animals. And you've got like your little letterbox and snow and and, oh. and this is only Treasure Studio ones I've got, but it's gonna be beautiful. I just know it will. The drills are awesome to this. Beautiful big beautiful round drills are beautifully sparkly. A little bit smaller though, so interesting. But that's um, that's looking really, really good. I love how ready these are to work on. So exciting! It's that real mixed bag of stuff in here. Where else have I got? Might as well go through the lot. <laughs> um, this one here, I think I bought from Shop Any Deals. I think, and uh, it's a. Uh, the five panel tiger. I will unbox these on the channel as well. That is ready to work on as well. That's looking awesome. Beautiful and flat. That's what I love. Look at that. Oh, I love this storage idea. I might put some more of them in here, I think. Or maybe I need to buy another one because this one's really full. Oh, no. Why did I see this? This is another one perfect for this time of year. Oh, if I get so much of what I've got. Look at that. That was from Shop Any Deals as well. I bought that. Oh, so much to do. I want to do that one. So many things in here. Look how many I got just in this storage unit. Uh, and now I've got that. So I should have put names on these ones. This is before I put names on things. That I can't remember, so I won't say. <laughs> Sorry. I know I got these from the same place and they were a promo, they were a PR. And they're, they're looking really neat and ready to go as well. Ooh, this is like unboxing, that's all unboxing. Over. <gasps> oh. Beautiful from Everyday e -crafts. Yeah, Yay, yeah, I labelled this one. Look at that. Oh, I want to do that one too. Golly. Um, oh, of course I do. Uh, this is a this is a beauty. I remember this one. This one was gorgeous from there. Everyday e -crafts. Beautiful big cities. I done the small one, for someone, but these colourful city tapes are gorgeous, and it's ready to work on. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look, looky. Beautiful. Oh, I just, I, I know. I know I've seen that one. Oh. oh, look, I missed. I wonder where that got to. I started this for Halloween um, the year before and I popped it somewhere. So that's been started to be drilled. I popped it in here to keep it a bit more better condition than it was because it was literally rolled up and stuck in a drawer or whatever. Poor thing this is. It's been it's years old. Oh, it's all stuck. But salvageable maybe. Pulling the, um, nearly pulling the glue off now. Don't know. Hasn't made any worse, that's for sure. It's like, that's really sticky, that. Not sure what to do with that one now. Um, oh well. I'll get back to that one day, maybe. Panels of tigers. Oh, this is Tidy Outdoors and another one. Still haven't done anything today. I just don't have enough time for the day. And that's the owls. So there you go. That's what's been held in that storage unit already. And there is the potential to put more, a couple more in there, but it is quite full. Um, that is the actual mat itself. If I could just turn it this way to show you guys. And it's 
has a few of the dimensions. It shows you how big. This is a really big, big mat. Um, the outlined area of this main outline area, this piece here, is uh, 1500 piece or 80. I'll read it upside down. 89 by 61 centimeter area. So that gives you an idea how big this mat is and that you can put some really, really big dime paintings into this system. Uh, so there you go. I'm going to have to put all of them back in there now, but it's really nice to have a look at everything what I've got sitting away, waiting patiently for me. My, uh, what do you call it, puzzle mat storage idea I had was going. So a few of you guys were watching it many, many moons ago, and I do thank everyone for doing that, um, supporting the channel for that matter. So you guys rock. And I thought it's been so long since I've opened it. It'd be a great time to uh, show you guys just how it stores on a bit more of a long term or long, t you know, after some time, how it's holding up. So, yeah, so this is a puzzle mat. Get it off eBay. They weren't dear. I think they're like under $20 Australian, so there you go. I'm going to leave out Father Snow. And I will put back all these other beautiful things that I love to do right now. So, storing them that way is the go. Because then when they unravel, they should roll back flat, correct? Yeah. So many diamonds for me to play with later. So many pieces. Some really lovely things in here. I've got too much going on to start anything else. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. There you go. Uh, as you can see, you can keep quite a variety of sizes and shapes together, and um, you can either store, let's say, unfinished works or flattening out some works, whichever way you go. Of course, you'd have it so that you can roll the beads to the outside of your. No, there's mine. If you're actually working on them. This could have a bit more air put in it, but I'm not going to worry about it because it's still holding up enough with all these paintings. Now, the fun part is trying to roll it back together again. So I'm going to try and keep the ends nice and tight and firm, just as you would like a sleeping bag or something. I'm just going to give that a really tight roll. Try and keep it as even as possible. Back to that. Now, getting one of these over the top would be great if you've got an extra set of hands, but you can just sort of rest that into your belly like I do. <laughs> and because you haven't undone the loop, you can get it to the centre you can get it to the center there we go and then tighten that one up that will give you a good base hopefully I've got that tight enough to put um, everything together into the bag again so there we go Ta -da. Oh. 
that over there. Oh, no, now I've undone it. Stay put. Okay, that's two. Angle another one on there. There we go. So that's the bands on it. Then all it needs to do is go back into the bag. I'm sure that will be easy. Easy peasy. Actually, that went in quite well. <laughs> I wasn't sure yet how that was going to travel, but just like a pillow slip, done. So there we go. Um, that's all those sorted out in there, no problem. Uh, that is basically an update to the puzzle mat storage system that I had going quite a while ago and I thought it would be a good opportunity to update you I got update you guys sorry on how the dime paintings are sitting in there so there we go so that's all packed away until I want something else out of there there's my father's now I can go and work on him now and Hurrah! That's pretty much it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this sort of update to how this storage system is working and you can see how it keeps your diamond paintings either something that's been partially drilled at a project that you want to put away because, you know, for whatever reason you want to start something new or time factor or, you know, there's a million reasons why we um, <laughs> do these things sometimes. But there you go. Uh, I think that was, I'm, I'm very happy how that system works. Different types of canvases I've put in there uh, seem to work really well. I haven't put any double side tape because I don't know how they would work in that, but uh, obviously all the pores work really well. well. I hope you enjoyed this update of this uh, puzzle mat system I had for storage idea. And as you can see, different qualities of canvas have stored really well over that time frame and yeah some have been drilled and come out fine so i think it's a really uh affordable way to store a lot of big paintings and they come out ready to work on so the canvases are ready to just start drilling nice and flat so that's that's a real bonus so anyway, that pretty much comes to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope that has helped somebody, if not at least entertained you guys. And I say thank you very, very, very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and you'll see more on this channel. Till next time, this is Diamond Dale signing out. Have a wonderful day, guys. Be your life beautiful with Diamond Art. Bye.